The saying, don't judge a book by its cover, may not apply to all dogs. A study by the veterinary science at the University of Sydney in Australia found that the dog's size and head shape can predict their personality and their behavior. Like sweet like this dude. Over a period of eight years, researchers tested 67,368 dogs from 45 different breeds using the standardized dog mentality assessment test to measure 10 different traits such as aggressiveness, defensiveness, playfulness, fearfulness, and curiosity. The height, weight, and head shape of the dogs was also analyzed. Now, before I get into what the research shows, I wanna run a little experiment here. Take a moment and comment down below describing your dog's height, weight, and head shape. By head shape, I mean, are they flat face or do they have a long muzzle? Along with that, let me know if they're bold, loving, playful, cuddly, fearful, aggressive. And then at the end of this, we're gonna go back and look at your comments and see if it lines up with what the study says. Results from this canine study showed shorter dogs tend to be more aggressive while taller dogs were more affectionate, cooperative and playful. Maybe that's why my English Bulldog Winston was so stubborn. Heavier dogs tend to be bolder, more inquisitive, this dude, you know what I'm talking about you bro, and attentive, while lighter dogs tend to be more cautious and fearful. I'm getting squished in between these two big heavy dogs. You can turn most dogs around to some degree through proper training and socialization. So if you have a short, light dog that's fearful and aggressive, that doesn't mean that is their life sentence. They don't have to be fearful and aggressive for their entire life. I have to recommend the Fenrir online training courses, such as the Perfect Canine Companion for you new puppy owners, the Perfect Puppy Course. That way you can get a jump start on their training and start training them properly from the start or the Socialization Masterclass, which is gonna help you socialize your dog. And these courses will transform you. They're gonna transform your dog. They're gonna transform your relationship with your dog so you get that perfect canine companionship that you're looking for. Far too often I see owners like wanting to give up their dogs because their dogs are literally a nightmare to live with. They're unruly, they don't listen, they're destructive, and a lot of it just comes down to lack of leadership. Your life doesn't have to be that way. I promise you these courses are life-changing and you'll save 10% using code Jason at checkout. Head shape makes a difference in the dog's temperament as well, according to this study. Brachycephalic dogs, which is the shorter faced dogs, they're far more engaged with their owners and they had a high interest in human directed play. They're also much more defensive in difficult to assess situations. Somebody came up in a Jason Voorhees hockey mask. They're gonna have a little bit harder time understanding what's going on and they're gonna act in a more defensive manner. They are a guardian breed. The lycocephalic, which is a dog with a longer muscle, they're much less likely to engage in human directed play. They're not as interested in that, but the studies found that they're not easily startled. The study suggests the dog's size, weight, and head shape can predict important aspects of their behavior and temperament. There also seems to be a correlation between the dog's head shape and the functions that they perform for humans. The study showed that sight hounds, for example, tend to have long, narrow heads, while many of the guarding breeds, such as a Cane Corso, they have the big, boxier type heads. Now let's just take a look at the average Cane Corso in these statistics and see if they line up. Corso is obviously a much heavier breed than the typical dog. According to this study done, a heavier breed dog equates to them being bolder. Definition of bold, fearless and daring, courageous, requiring or exhibiting courage or daring. I'd say that both Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice align with the definition of bold, as well as 99% of the kind of courses out there. So, so far that checks my box on accuracy. If you guys like these videos, make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications turned on. We do daily uploads between shorts and long form content. And there's tons of information that you're gonna be able to apply to your own life, helping you live the best life with your canine companion. Heavier dogs tend to be more inquisitive and intentive, and Justice is so inquisitive. It is insane. Bruce as well but justice is like next level. So again, this lines up with what the study says. Corsos are brachiocephalic, which the University of Sydney study states, a short-faced dog is more engaged with their owners. They have a high interest in human direct play and they're defensive and difficult to assess situations. That checks all the boxes for these guys. These guys want nothing more to play with me and Kara. They could play for two hours together, three hours nonstop hard, and they still want us to play with them. And it is always very clear when Kara 
and myself are playing with the dogs, that's when they're their absolute happiest. In conclusion, the research clearly shows us that height, weight, and head shape of our dogs can predict certain types of temperament. Finding a breed whose temperament matches your lifestyle is key to a happy, successful relationship with your dog. Amazing research like this gives us a more in-depth look as to why our dogs act like they do. Would you guys use this study in helping you decide what dog breed is right for you? Just another tool to add to your arsenal, figuring out what breed is best for you. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on the way out. And until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey, Justin, myself, we'll see you later. Peace. You guys want to play now? You guys deserve something. You guys are good.